The Scala is the most uh, famous opera house in the world. We work in opera, in rock and roll, and in exhibit design. Together with Davide Livermore, we had the pleasure to design Don Pasquale. It's an opera by Donizetti. La Scala era già un cliente che noi conoscevamo nell'ambito della stampa digitale di grande formato. E per cui è nato casualmente in questo modo, con, eh, noi ci siamo subito proposti come, come occasione al volo, diciamo. Ecco. We decided to create an ambient of the 50s in Rome. And one of the ideas was to, um, to copy one of the most uh, significant car scenes in the Italian cinema. We wondered how we can get uh, a vintage car from the 50s on the set. We could buy one, which is very complicated, heavy and extremely expensive. So we decided to rebuild it, redesign the shapes exactly as the, the original car. We needed a 4.5 meter by 1.5 meter car, the real size and it needed to be not more than uh, 40, 50 kilos in the outer shape. We could have done a polystyrene uh, design, um, but it would have been full, not empty. We could have done a wood design, impossible to do in time. We had the, the pleasure to meet the guys from Colored Zenit, um, and they were proposing it to do it in 3D printing. Indubbiamente, eh, voglio dire, da parte di Gioforma e da parte del team della Scala, eh, ovviamente è stato un sollievo per loro eh, perché le altre alternative erano quelle di creare del, eh, dei coni, diciamo, delle gomme per poi crearla a pezzi e assemblarla, ma con dei tempi, diciamo, molto, molto lunghi. For us it was definitely uh, impossible to, to hit the time frame um, with another technology. Eh, non esiste altro che la Massivit con una dimensione così, diciamo, grande, ma nello stesso tempo con questa rapidità. Ci siamo subito trovati molto, molto bene con l'applicazione eh, della, della macchina eh, con, eh, e la realizzazione, la realizzazione finale, diciamo, ecco. It was an ideal way of, of, of creating this lightweight car. It needs to be done in an intelligent way uh, for the singer. Another crucial point is um, how precise we can deliver because we might design something here and, and send it all over the world. We now are um, designing operas uh, all around the world. So if I look back, uh, there would have been several productions where life would have been easier with this new kind of technology. In Monte Carlo, where we had all these uh, very nice wood engravings and three-dimensional decors. Um, and they would have been easy to do with 3D printing. Actually, they were done in polystyrene and wood, so it was heavy and, let's say, old-fashioned um, in the way of making. Again, in the Scala, last year we designed um, a train, which is a giant prop, um, and has been rebuilt with an iron frame and, and wood cladding. And, and actually, this could have been just a, a design and a a button to print it. In the future, I'm sure we will see a large, uh, let's say, mass customization area where everyone wants to have his own design, his particular design, and we are not anymore depending on reality. So we are able to create every shape we want. We just need to have it in our mind. <laughs>